Hi everybody, so today is February the 27th and I felt like I haven't recorded a video in a while, which like I haven't, but a lot of the videos that you saw were pre-recorded and I haven't like sat down and recorded a video in a while and it feels like months, <laughs> but it was only a couple weeks, so yeah. And the reason that I didn't post last week was just because I had some stuff going on um, with with my online friends and basically I kind of just forgot about YouTube. I actually did. I was like, it was Tuesday and I was like, oh my God, I totally forgot to post a video. So I just forgot. Nothing's really, everything's okay now, but I just forgot all about YouTube and yeah. So anyway, today's going to be a story time video and today's the 27th and I'm going to try to get this up tomorrow which is the 28th so when you guys see this video it will most likely be Tuesday but it's pre-recorded so if it goes up Thursday or sometime next week or something like that then you guys will know when it was posted or when I recorded this because a lot of times like when I watch YouTube videos and like there are youtubers that they'll record something and then it the video won't go up for like a couple weeks and then I'll be like well when was this actually recorded because the date it was published was not the date it was recorded, or at least not necessarily anyway. So when I pre-record videos, I will try to get in the habit of saying the date so you guys know. <laughs> okay, so anyway, today's going to be a story time video, and as you can tell by the title, the video is going to be called Silvertooth, <laughs> and you guys will understand why when I tell you the story. Okay, so I was seven years old when this happened. I was in the second grade. And this actually happened like right before my birthday. I was like a few weeks before my birthday. So I think it was like mm, like a little after Christmas when this happened. And this was going on for a couple weeks. And we didn't know what was going on. So yeah. Okay. So what happened was all of a sudden I was coming down with these toothaches. But it wasn't like a continuous toothache. It was just like it would hurt when I would chew on that side. So it was the bottom left side. Um, so whenever I would chew on that side, it would hurt. I had a sore tooth. It was to the point where I couldn't chew on that side. It was because it would just hurt too much to just, just, to, just to eat, just to chew on that side. So yeah, it was sore, it would hurt, and we didn't know what was going on. So I would tell my mom, I have a sore tooth, I have a sore tooth, and you know, we made appointments with a few dentists and they didn't really find anything, you know, they kind of, like one dentist, I think it was like, you know, they didn't really find anything and then we kind of were just like, you know, we'll just like a wait and see kind of thing, maybe, maybe something just got stuck back there or something like that or maybe it was loose or because, you know, that was back when I still had baby teeth. So we were kind of just like, I, don't, I guess we kind of really weren't. I guess we kind of like weren't really thinking too much of it at the time so it got to the point where like it just didn't stop it was just like every time I would chew on that side it would hurt it would just hurt when I would chew but it wasn't like a continuous toothache so it just hurt when I would chew so I kept telling my mom I have a sore tooth I have a sore tooth and you know we didn't know what was going on so she kind of she just said well you know, she gave me ice cream, thinking maybe having some ice cream would help, put something cold on it. Um, she thought maybe, you know, I try to brush it a little bit. She thought maybe that would help because maybe she thought I could have got something stuck back there. You know, because sometimes when you have pieces of food stuck back there for a while, that does, does get a little sore. Your gums get a little sore. So she had me brush it to th see maybe if I got something stuck back there, maybe brushing it would help. And nothing helped. And it got to the point where um, the, this was going on for a couple of weeks. We didn't really know what was going on. So it got to the point where I would put, there was a stuff that we got called Ambisol. Which I'm not exactly sure like as to what it does. But it's a cream. It's like a cream stuff that kind of, it numbs the pain. It's a topical so it doesn't have to be like injected into a nerve like Novocaine does. 
but it's a topical that you kind of like you just numbs the pain a little bit because sometimes what would happen was it actually got to the point where it was bad enough where after a while after I ate it would hurt it, like it would hurt for a little bit so you know I would have to put that stuff on it so I brought some to school I had, had some at home and I was just putting ambisol on it so finally we you know after a few weeks of this you know, had this mysterious sore tooth. We had no idea why, what was going on. I went to a dentist and, you know, they took some x-rays and they told us, okay, so I figured I'll give you guys a little bit of a backstory and then you'll understand why I'm about to tell you what happened. You know, you'll understand why this happened. Okay, so when I was a kid, I used to have a bad habit of grinding my teeth. And it was to the point where, okay, you guys know how when you have bad habits, it's like <laughs> you do something and it's like to the point where like if it's a habit and you do it so much, it's like sometimes it gets to the point where you don't even realize you're doing it until somebody tells you. Like sometimes you, you're just sitting there, you don't even know you're doing it. And then like the next thing you know, you realize you're doing it. <laughs> so yeah. So when I was a kid, I was always like grinding my teeth. And my mom would have to tell me, you know, quiet teeth, quiet teeth. Because, you know, I had a really bad habit of doing it. And that same thing happened with me. It got to the point where I was doing it so much that I didn't even realize I was doing it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, basically, what happened was with this mysterious sore tooth that I had, um, you know, what happened was the dentist took some x-rays and since I have, I you had, I don't do really do it anymore. I mean, you, usually now, like if I start to do it, like I'll realize it right away and then I'll stop because I don't want to like, I'll be like, oh no, I don't want to repeat what happened to me like several years ago. <laughs> so what happened was they saw that, that that one tooth, it was one, it was on the bottom left. I ground it down so much to the point where there was almost no enamel there. Like, it was almost just like, like a nerve. And I mean, there was no way that I would know. I mean, didn't really feel different to me as far as I can remember. But I ground it down so much that there was like almost no tooth there. That's pretty bad. So yeah, it was from grinding my tooth. It was from grinding my teeth because I just kept grinding and grinding and grinding and I just ground it down a lot. So yeah, it was just like, it, it almost wasn't there. So what they had to do was I had to get a cap and it was a silver cap. And that's why this video is called silver tooth because my brother used to call me silver tooth and it didn't really bother me. You know, it didn't really bother me. I was like, okay, whatever, you know? So I had to get a cap and when I got the cap, it instantly went away. Once I was, you know, when I ate, when I chewed on that side, there was no more pain. So, yeah, that was, that was really awesome. It was like, it instantly, things instantly changed. There was no more pain when I chewed. I was fine again. So the cap was only temporary, which was good because like I said, like, like now it gets to the point where when I grind my teeth, it's like I stop right away when I realize I'm doing it so because if I were to get a cap now I would have it forever because when I had it it was a baby tooth so I only had it for about like two three years it was only temporary because it was a baby tooth so we actually when we went to the dentist um my mom was kind of concerned about it and she wasn't really sure because since it was a baby tooth she wasn't sure if the cap would stay in there and the baby tooth would just, and the second tooth would just grow underneath it and you would never, and I would never know it and all that. And like, well, she wasn't really sure what was going to happen as far as the tooth coming out. And the hygienist told us that the whole thing would just come out. And that was what happened. The whole thing came out, cap and everything. So yeah, so I don't have it anymore, but I figured I'll tell you guys that story. So that way you guys, if, if you guys have a bad habit of grinding your teeth, <laughs> well, maybe you should try to break it so you don't have what happened to me happen to you. So...
yeah. But anyway, that's basically what happened. And yeah, it was pretty, it's pretty bad. Like, because we had this, it was, you know, the tooth was bothering me. We didn't know what was going on. And then we found out that I almost had no tooth there because I ground it down so much. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, um, well, that's my video for today. Figured I would tell you guys that story and I will see you guys in my next video and be sure to comment, subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye guys.